Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and I'm producing a video today, it's a Q&A answers video. A couple of weeks ago I uploaded a video on my channel asking you to ask me questions, it could be to do with anything, it could be to do with my life, to do with YouTube, anything at all. A lot of you got back to me and so I'm going to do an answer video. So, I've got my, all my answers wrote down on this piece of paper back here, seven of them all together and we'll start off. The first question is from Elite Wolf 98 and he has asked me, what is my favourite film? It's quite a difficult one because I don't think I can pick just one film. There's loads and loads of good films out there. Growing up, I always loved the Star Wars series. Um, I preferred the originals over the new ones, although Revenge of the Sith wasn't too bad, apart from Hayden Christensen's acting, but I enjoyed the Star Wars films. I'll just look at my films over here. Hold on, what else we got? Um, obviously the TV series. The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. I can't not include them. They were fantastic. Yeah, there's not much more I can say. They're just brilliant, you know. I think my Skyrim series shows that. You've only got to watch my commentary and nearly every video I've made of Skyrim I've made some sort of mention of Middle-earth or The Hobbit. So, yeah, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. I don't mind the Batman films as well. The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, they're pretty good. The Dark Knight, especially with Heath, Heath Ledger, his acting is fantastic as the Joker. So yeah, off the top of my head, I'm going to pick those three. They are probably my favourite films. The next question is from Joe Cadden. And he has asked me, Will I do a made made? <laughs> Will I do a medieval to Total War campaign? There isn't that many on YouTube. Good question. I will be doing a Medieval 2 campaign. One of my intentions when I first started YouTube was to do a Medieval 2 campaign with Wales. Wales is my home country, for those of you that are new to my channel. It's where I'm from, it's where I live. And there are a few, there are actually a few medieval Wales campaigns on YouTube. Mikey BTV, he's also a Welsh YouTuber. He does some Total War stuff. And he, I think he has about five or 6,000 subscribers, but he does do a Wales campaign on his. He has done one. But yeah, I do agree there aren't that many on YouTube. But I will definitely be doing a medieval to Wales campaign, so don't worry about that. I'm hoping to do it in the next, probably the next two months. By, by the summer I'm hoping to start one up, by it's just tying up a few loose ends with Let's Plays at the moment. But anyway, next question is from Mighty Mickey Do, and it was also asked by Wur Says as well, and that is, if I were not doing YouTube right now, what would I be doing instead? I'd probably be watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I, I was watching YouTube videos long before making them. Yeah, I'd be watching YouTube. There's so many good good uh, YouTubers on YouTube. Lionheart, Alex the Rambler, Air of Carthage, Hephaestion, Surreal Beliefs. I, I watch them. I, I wouldn't say I watch all of them all the time, but I watch all of them most of the time. And I'd be doing that. So if I wasn't making videos and doing YouTube, then I'd be just be watching it like, like I'd do anyway. So not much would change. The next question is actually from Alex the Rambler. What's my ambition in life? Quite a difficult question to answer. Just to have fun, basically. Just enjoy myself. Enjoy what I do. If you don't enjoy it, then don't do it. As far as ambition goes, I am really going to aim as such in life. Not at the moment, anyway. I've always had kind of mini goals in life. You know, you know when you're younger and you you learn to drive. Well, I you know I passed my test four years ago, so you know that was like a mini goal. You know, to to learn to drive, to pass my test. When I went to university, it was to graduate and do well, which I did. So I've always had many goals and many ambitions in life, but which I've achieved. I wouldn't say I have a really, a really big goal in life. At the moment, it's probably just to find employment because my work experience recently finished, um, and before that, I had employment, which was on a temporary basis. So that's probably one of the things. But apart from that, I don't really have a main ambition. But a good question, nonetheless. The next question is from Stiffer. Why am I so damn sexy? <laughs> What can I say? It's what I do. <laughs> Next question is from Elite Wolf 98 Why did I start YouTube? Good question again. It's probably going to be a long-winded answer, but I'll try to shorten it as best as I can. I started YouTube March the 20th, 2013. I was in university at the time. Me and my friend were talking about doing YouTube. He hasn't started YouTube yet, but he's he's working, trying to work out how to get onto it and you know, get the right equipment and stuff. But we were both talking, both said we wouldn't mind doing YouTube, wouldn't mind doing multiplayer with each other and upload stuff. Um, I've always been a fan, like I mentioned earlier, of Lionheart and other YouTubers. I thought to myself, well, you know, they've uh, had lots of success, they've had thousands and thousands of subscribers. 
they get thousands and thousands of views per video every week, every every day. I thought, well, you know, if I could get just a percentage of that success, you know, just make a few videos, see how it goes, that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, that's kind of why why I started YouTube. Really, I did it a year ago. Uploaded a few worms videos and a few Rome Rome One videos, which are still on my channel. Had a few views, gained a few subscribers, and that's how it started. Basically, it took off from there. And a year later, I have. 330 subscribers and I think it's 18,000 views which I'm really proud of to get that many views and that many subscribers in, in such a short space of time and long may it continue and also I should probably say with, with that question as well because I got asked by it by one of my friends the other day but I didn't actually put it into my my list but the question is what is the reason behind my YouTube name now when I was thinking of starting YouTube with my friend I was watching a lot of the Clone Wars. I was thinking, I wouldn't mind a YouTube name to do with Cad Bane, because he's one of my favourite bounty hunters in the Clone Wars animated series. However, I didn't go with that because I couldn't think of anything decent. So I thought, well, what about Lionheart? Because my name in real life is Richard. So Richard the Lionheart, it kind of goes together and it kind of fits in with what I'm trying to achieve with my channel, with Total War and you know, Warfare type of games. Of course, Lionheart's already got a YouTube channel, Lionheart X10, so I couldn't exactly take that name because he already he already using the name Lionheart. There's already a Lionheart in the Total War YouTube side of things, community side of things. So I thought, well, I can't really go down that, that kind of path. However, I thought to myself afterwards, well, Lionheart is the name of an English king. Braveheart is the name of the film which is to do with William Wallace, which was a Scottish noble. Or about Dragonheart. And then I thought, well, actually, that's not a bad idea. Dragonheart, okay, there's a film called Dragonheart, but dragons are associated with whales. It's on the national flag, it's a national symbol, and it kind of goes together. So that's kind of how I come up with the name Dragonheart. And then I couldn't have just Dragonheart because other YouTubers with that name, but there's none that I know of within the kind of Total War community. So I decided to go with 1791. 17 is my lucky number. It's also my date of birth, June the 17th and 91 is the year I was born. So that's the name behind my channel. That's how I come up with the name for my channel. Next question, this is from Wur Says. Am I watching Game of Thrones and will I be doing a Let's Play or Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms mod? First of all, of course I'm going to be watching Game of Thrones. I'm absolutely in love with the series. If you wait one second, I will show you now. We have Game of Thrones. Hopefully my shelf won't fall back down. We have Game of Thrones. Um, bear with me a second. We have Game of Thrones. So as you can see, I love Game of Thrones. Um, I've actually got series 3 as well, but my girlfriend's uh, borrowing it off me at the moment. So yeah, I'll get that back off as soon. But of course I'm going to be watching Game of Thrones. I love it. I'm also starting a Clash of Kings mod on my channel. So be sure to tune in if you like Game of Thrones and Clash of Kings and, of course, Mountain Blade Warband. And the second question, what was he say? What did he say? Uh, will I be doing a Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms mod? I won't be doing it on Game of Thrones. I have got the mod installed, but I won't be doing it. But I will be doing a Wales campaign for Medieval 2. And like I said, I will be doing a Clash of Kings mod for Mountain Blade Warband. But that's basically it. So I've answered every question. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment, rate and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.